We live in an extraordinary time. The words you will hear are extraordinary because of their premise. They are God's own words. In antiquity, God was imagined to be remote from the universe which he had created. Man was not in direct communication with him, except through the mouths of the prophets. God was referred to in the third person as he. In the New Testament, God drew near. He spoke to man through his own son. He was addressed as thou. But in our time, God is in the here and now. He addresses himself directly as I. He speaks through every I. He speaks through every man. And now, hear his very own words. They are your words. I am the Father. I am the Father of your son. I am the Father of your mother and of your father. I am the Father of your grandfather and of your great-grandfather. I am the Father of your brother and of your sister. I am the father of your grandson and of your great-grandson. I am the father of the sky above your head and of the earth beneath your feet. I am the father of the lightning that springs from the clouds and of the rainbow above the houses. I'm the father of the birds flying through the trees and of the beasts running through the woods. I'm the father of the mountains towering to the sky and of the flowers blooming in the meadows. I am the father of your tongues and of your eyes, of your breasts and of your ankles. I am the father of the dust from which you come and of the silence into which you sink. Oh, who is more in need of help than I? Who needs so many hands as I? Who needs so many souls as I? Who needs so many lands as I? If one carries too heavy a burden, one hand more is sufficient. If one is lonely, one soul who loves him is sufficient. If one needs food and rest, one span of earth is sufficient. But I need all the hands that there are, none shall be missing. I need all the souls that there are, none shall be missing. I need all the lands that there are, none shall be missing if I am to carry your burden to the goal. Help me! I who gave birth to all must be fulfilled by all. I pray for you. May I pray for every being. Oh, let me pray with you. Let me pray with every being. This is my prayer. May all beings meet me. 
But if there are some who have not met me, may at least a man meet them who has met me. But if even then some remain who have not met a man who has met me, may at least the words I have spoken meet them. But if still some remain who are deaf and blind to the words I have spoken, have pity on them and let them be born. May all beings be born at least once. This is my prayer. May every being be born at least once. Better be born for destruction than never be born. Be fertile and multiply yourself. Multiply me. This is my commandment be not unborn let me not be unborn this is also my commandment go beyond the earth and take possession of the endless spaces I have made thousands of roads for my beings. Love the unborn. The unborn are dearer to my heart than those who are born. Remember the day when you were unborn. Remember when one is born. I am also there. This is my prayer. May all beings be blessed with a place in the universe, a place in the sun or a place in the moon. It does not matter where. If it is only a place where they can create me. I have provided for all a place in the universe. This is my house, the universe. I have divided it up. May all beings be blessed with a home, a place in the universe. May you be blessed with a home. My universe be your house. I have made its spaces so immense that all shall find a place in it. Blessed are they who are silent in heaven. Too will they be blessed not through works, nor through words, but through silence. Blessed are the unknown, in heaven too will they wander in calm and broken. Blessed are they who are unnamed, naked are they as they live, naked will they be when they return. Me. Blessed are they who die with a full heart. Blessed are they who guard their treasure, for they shall not come to the grave with empty hands. 
Blessed are they who still have something to bury, but woe to them who have surrendered their treasure. It were better if they never had died. Do not worship gods made by men. Worship me. Worship on your knees before me. Uh, this is not the only way. On the tips of your toes, rise up higher that you may reach me. Soar, fly when you worship. Fight with me. Create me when you worship. Hold fast to that which I have sung in your soul. Hold fast always to that which I have sung in your soul. If someone comes to you and asks what name you bear, look deep into your soul and say in a strong voice, in my soul there is no name. And if he comes to you and asks from what race you spring, look deep into your soul and say in a strong voice, no race is in my soul. And if he comes to you and asks of what creed you are, then look deep into your soul and say in a strong voice, no creed is in my soul. In my soul there is the Father, only he is there. In my soul there is no name, no race is there, no creed is there. In my soul there is the Father, only He is there, the Father there, and I His child. I am God, the Father the creator of the universe. These are my words, the words of the Father. The words are spoken every instant and transmitted every instant from a million points, a million horizons, all over the universe. As soon as they are spoken, they flash into the darkness in all directions, as minute lights, as sounds, as touches and embraces from me to all. The words are immortal. There are hundreds of tongues in which the words can be spoken. There are hundreds of ways in which the words can be heard, but they are not to be compared with the original words. The source is anonymous. It is I. How could I bear to live if I had not created myself? Therefore, I must have created myself. How could I have created myself if I had not created the whole universe also? Therefore, in order to create myself, I must have created the whole universe also. How could I have created the universe unless I recall how it began. Therefore, in order to create myself, I had to create the whole universe. And I must recall how it began. 
how can I recall this unless I was present then? How can I embrace the world of today unless I am bound up with every particle of it? Therefore, in order to create myself, I created the whole universe. I recall how it began, and I am bound up with every particle of the universe. Remember, this is Satan's law. Kill your neighbor before he kills you. Be the first to kill. This is my law. Love your neighbor before he loves you. Be the first uh, to love. This is Satan's law. Prevent the truth from being born. And if you cannot stop it, prevent the truth from being spread. And if you cannot stop it, kill the man from whom the truth came. Uh, kill the man to whom it went. Man is an easy prey, easy to kill, easy to fool. This is my law. Let no truth remain unborn. If you cannot endure truth, help the man who can endure it. See that it is spread. See that it fills the world. Before me, lies the book of life and death. Everything that happens is recorded in the book. Everything that happens happens by my decree. I give no orders. To give orders would mean to give orders to myself. I stop no action, no life. To stop any life would mean to stop myself. I view the world dispassionately. I take no sides unless I take all sides. Life writes itself in my book of life and death. Whatever is, is recorded in the book.